Elsa, style my hair, Elsa. Yo, Elsa, style my hair. I've been styled by Elsa. Hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to have a business and life you love. It is Q&A Tuesday, and today's question comes from Sylvia, and Sylvia writes, Hi Marie, how do I find my voice and create my own brand without feeling like a total copy of the women I admire? I get so much inspiration from my mentors, but I feel stuck. How do I get my own message out there and have it sound like me? Sylvia, this is a fantastic question and one I get asked a lot. It's really important that you're able to find your own way to express yourself in a way that feels original and authentic to you. One thing I wanna let you know though, every creator and writer I know struggles with this, including me. When you find someone that you're inspired by, it's really easy to read all their stuff and then all of a sudden you start speaking like them and writing like them and it can get confusing and just not feel so good. Here's the thing, most ideas are already out there, so it's not so much about what you say, it's about how you say it. It's so important that you challenge yourself and be creative. And I know it can seem like when someone else had said something, that is the only way it can be said, but that's just not true. In fact, here are four strategies to find your voice and your brand. Number one, challenge yourself to express one idea at least five different ways. This is a great way to help you build your ability to say things different ways in your own way. Try this. Pick one idea or a universal concept and try saying it a bunch of different ways. Here's an example. Idea. You can't control the way things are going to happen. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Shit happens. Everything happens for a reason. Tough titties. Deal with it. You just can't win them all. Quesada, sada, whatever will be, will be. See, that was just seven different ways to say the same thing, but they each have their own unique tone and energy. Number two, draw on your own experience, not your research. This means tell your own stories, use your own phrases, come up with your own analogies and your own metaphors. You wanna use your own life to inform your teaching. Here's the thing, if you're telling your own stories, you can't possibly be copying from someone else and using your own stories allows you to develop a very unique voice and develop your own very unique content. Number three, when you write your own content, don't look at other people's stuff. Here's the deal, if you are constantly looking at other people's stuff, it is bound to seep into your spongy little brain and then come out in what you write. So when you're gonna write your own content, put away other people's books, stop reading other people's blogs, and just say what you wanna say in your own voice. You should have no other reference materials around except for maybe a thesaurus. Number four, give yourself the BFF reality check. Whether you're writing copy or shooting a video or preparing for a talk, you need to check and ask yourself, does this sound like you? Would you actually say this to your best friend? If you said it to your best friend, would they say, WTF, who are you? Did an alien come down and abduct you? Take me to your mentor. If so, it's likely you're trying to be someone else. If not, congrats girl, you found your voice. You sound very unique. Before we wrap, I wanna leave you with one of my favorite quotes of all time, and yes, it is a tweetable. Always be a first-rate version of yourself instead of a second-rate version of somebody else. Judy Garland. Now it's your turn. Do you have any tricks for bringing out your own voice? Any stumbling blocks that you run into when you're trying to stay unique? Or as I like to say, keeping it real? I want you to add your genius to the conversation. Be as specific as possible. And if you didn't know, the best stuff always happens after the episode over at marieforleo.com. So go there and leave a comment right now. Like this video, then subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you want even more great resources to have a business and a life that you love, come on over to marieforleo.com and make sure you sign up for email updates because I share some personal stuff in my email updates that I only share with my subscribers. That's why you wanna be one. Stay on your game and keep going for your dreams. The world needs that special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Marie TV. Hey, RHH Live is coming up. Are you coming? Go to rhhlive.com for details. <laughs> Stop moving, my <laughs> I was like, what the f
What is he doing? <laughs> is distracting. <laughs> that was so inappropriate and so great.